there's nothing like a game of ping pong to get you warmed up and ready for a bit of science. G'day guys, my name's Jaden, and today I'm going to be showing you a super cool DIY science experiment. Come on, let's go. I nearly forgot, I've been eating this. As well as ping pong balls, you'll need a hairdryer, balloons, and a cardboard tube. Okay guys, let's get started. First up, grab your hairdryer, set the switch to cool, and point it at the ceiling. Carefully put the ping pong ball in the stream of air. Now hold the hairdryer very steady and watch as the ping pong ball floats in the stream of air. Then try moving the hairdryer from left to right and watch how the ball moves as long as staying in the stream of air. Pretty cool, huh? Now try floating other lightweight objects like the inflated balloon in the airstream at the same time. You might want to place a coin inside the balloon before you blow it up just to give it a bit of added weight so it doesn't fly away. So, what's going on here? How does the ping pong ball and the balloon stay floating in the stream of air? Well, this is a great example of Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli was an 18th century mathematician who discovered something really unusual about moving air. He found that the faster air flows over the surface of something, the less air pushes on that surface, and so the lower its pressure. The air from the hairdryer flows around the outside of the ball. And if you position it carefully, the air will flow evenly around each side. Gravity pulls the ball downward, while the pressure below the ball from the moving air forces it upward. This means that all the forces acting on the ball are balanced, and the ball hovers in mid-air. Now, let me show you something really awesome. Watch what happens when I put this cardboard tube over the hovering ping pong ball. Watch it float above the ball, and then watch the ball get sucked up inside the cardboard tube. When you place the cardboard tube into the airstream, the air is funneled into a smaller area, making air move even faster. The pressure in the tube becomes even lower than that of the air surrounding the ball, and the ball is pushed up into the tube. And that, my friends, is one super cool DIY experiment that you should definitely try. And it's all thanks to our old mate, Mr. Benoli. 